Hi, I'm Jennifer Nicholson. And I'm Matthew Reese the third. And we're conducting an experiment involving these this apparatus right here. And Pascal's law. So here it is. Third. <clears throat> so as you can see, we're pouring our red um, stuff, liquid <laughs> liquid into the funnel. And pouring it slowly, you can see that it's going up to the top. And it stays at about here. And the funnel is getting higher. As you can see, it's doing it once again at this um, second circle here. And the funnel is already starting to raise. The pressure pushes it down to the next circle and the funnel is going to overflow any second. Overflow. And you can see that it didn't even raise any higher on the third circle, proving Pascal's law. It's physics. So to begin our explanation, we'll state Pascal's law, which states that the fluid pressure at all points in a connected body of an incompressible fluid at rest, which are at the same absolute height, are the same, even if an additional pressure is applied on the fluid at some place. Indeed. The pressure at the apex of each of the coils is the same, even though additional pressure is being put into the system via the funnel. This is why the funnel readily overflows while the liquid stays in the apex of its said coil. It's just plain physics, people. <laughs>